up lady gang and welcome back it is your girl Amaya and I am back here with another video for you guys and this video is a little different I've never done anything like this before I've done an unboxing but I've never done a try on haul and you guys have never seen any of my clothes before or any of the shoes that I like buy or wear unless you follow me on Instagram and if you don't already go ahead and do that I will have all of my social medias linked down in the description down below and I will also have them pop up on the screen somewhere. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, I will be doing a unboxing and a try on haul with both shoes and clothes. I recently ordered two pairs of shoes and I ordered a couple outfits. So I will have everybody's information linked in the description down below. And I will also have all of their Instagrams pop up on the screen. None of this stuff is sponsored. Therefore, I will not have a coupon code to give you guys. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the try on haul. So I got these clothes from a boutique back at home called Pink Co Boutique on Instagram. And it came in a regular little mailer. I ordered five different outfits from her. And they come in these like really cute bags like how Shein have their clothes. The baggies are also reusable. So... Hey, we're gonna start off with the kitty cat set. This is how it looks. The top. And it is paired with these biker shorts. Period. Don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play. It's paired with some matching biker shorts as you guys seen. And they honestly fit pretty nice. The biker shorts are very stretchy. I got this in a size small and this is in the color brown. This was $30. And you know, it's like the Skims set that Kim Kardashian has. It's not too flashy. It's not too tight or anything. But if you do got a little more butt than me, it just might be a little bit tighter if you get a size small. Biker shorts tend to go over the belly button and it covers your belly button but that's fine for me because if i was to put this at my waist it'll be like this and then we don't want this so please pull your biker shorts all the way up let's move on to the next color outfit and it's great for twerking <laughs> <laughs> so this is the same set the kitty set this is the same set in the color black this is the top it has the adjustable bra strap bands in the back and it's just like a regular pullover little top. Again, like the Sims set. And it has matching bottom biker shorts. Which fit really great as well. It's the same outfit as the one that I previously had on. Except in a different color. I do like the black better on me color wise. Because the brown one kind of sort of matches my skin tone. Just a little bit. So it almost looks like I make it. But the black one looks really good on me. And... I really like. Next we have this Snatches jumper in the color gray in a size small and this was $15. It is a gray short jumper set. Um, It is a size small but it is a bit big on me because I'm very flat chested and I don't have no boobs. You know in a jumper where you're supposed to do like the big boob part it's supposed to like stretch it out like this kind of sort of and then it like fit with a big booty but i don't have big boobs or big booty <laughs> so it's kind of big on me and you know it's not bad it is a little baggy in the vag part i don't like that but that's not like it has nothing to do with her it has something to do with me because i'm so little so if you guys are greater than 110 pounds or you have a little more boobs and bo booty than me then this would be a good set and it will fit you in a size small we're gonna move on to the next outfit so this next outfit is also the snatches hem jumper i'm talking about snatches hem jumper <laughs> this is that's not what it's called it's called the snatches jumper but this is the snatches jumper in a size small in the color brown and it was $15, $15. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all now, the brown one fit way better than the gray one. The brown one is giving me hope. Like, wait a minute, the other one might have just been a little too stretched out by the way you put it on. But girl, you got hope. You think? Y'all see, this one definitely fits way better than the gray one. Um, You can actually tell by the top that it fits better. And then 
in the bag part maybe because like the color you can't tell that it's super baggy like how you can tell on the gray one that it's super baggy but it's just a bit baggy right here but it's not as baggy as the gray one this one definitely fits better and i actually like the way it fits so if you are a size small for real, for real and you got the titties and you got the booty to put this on go ahead and get this one because the size small it actually fits good and even if team little booty y'all see that little quote in the back yeah team look don't count the little booties out now I don't know. I don't put this jumpsuit on and don't even want to do the video no more. <laughs> no, for real though. I done put this one on and I'm ready to go to a party now. I don't even want to do the video no more. Next outfit. What? So the last and the final and my personal favorite, which is why I saved the best for last. It's this orange lounge dress in size small and it fit a small folks like a glove. What? Fit me like a glove. Uh, Y'all see that? And it go all the way down to like maybe the top of my ankle. So if you are a bit on the tall side, um, right above the top of your ankle is where to stop. But you know, all you gotta do is throw on some slides. You can tie a little knot and then have it come right above your knee you can really do whatever you want to with this dress because it is a little loose at the bottom um it is a little see-through so i would advise if you guys don't want to you don't have to wear a bra but it kind of in the sunlight it will show your boobs so i would suggest putting on a strapless bra or those um nipple covers y'all think i don't know comment down below which one is y'all favorite outfit I think my favorite outfit may have to be this orange dress only because this one that fits me the best and orange looks really good against my skin complexion i'm talking about i was ready to go out in that baby i'm ready to go to uh go on a day who's picking me up who's picking me up y'all this one a nice little crossbody purse would be really really cute middle part of bust down yeah because the braids ain't giving right now but middle part bust down with this dress it's gonna get the girls what they need to be gave yeah all right guys so we're about to go ahead and get into the second part of this try on haul which is the shoes all right guys so now we're on to the second part of this unboxing and try on haul which is actually to me the most exciting part like yeah clothes are nice everybody loves some cute clothes but don't we all love shoes so we're gonna start with um, these. This is the box that it came in. Um, I got it from Stock X, so it is, you know, nothing really like the box is nothing really extravagant because it's coming from Stock X. So yeah, so this is the um, shoe box. The car done fell up. All right, so what I have here for you girls is the Nike Dunk Low in the multi camo. This is the left shoe. And then this is the right shoe. On this shoe, you got the front, like you got the toe camo print. And then on this one, you got the heel camo print. I bet none of y'all ain't peeped that. Oh, shucks. And on the back, the one on the left says Nike. And then the right one has like a Nike basketball. What the inside's looking like. This one shoe reviews this is actually pretty cool <laughs> um 
then on the inside it says a youth six because that's what size it is and then on the inside it just has orange nike lettering with an orange nike check and it is green on the inside so these are actually pretty darn raw i put in a raffle for these and i lost the raffle and i was like you know what i want these like i want these no matter what so that's why i ordered them off stock x Ooh, these are super cute i really do like these comment down below which one is your favorite shoe the left or the right the right shoe has actual camo prints and then the left shoe has like yeah they're camo prints but i know this one is like on pretty little things camo pants and then gray camo so i'm gonna try these on Those were the Sailor Motai Nike Dunk Lows. I would go a half a size up if I were you because I normally wear a five and a half and in my other pair of dunks I have a five and a half but the six definitely feels better. You have way more room and they're actually a bit more comfy. I got these off of StockX like I said. Shipping normally takes two to three weeks. It depends on how long they take to ship them to StockX so that they can verify them. Um, so give yourself about two to three weeks if you do plan on shopping from off of stock X um, These ran me about with the shipping and the taxes and all of that it came out to be 165 167 so that's actually not bad for a Nike dunk low that typically runs about 200 or more on stock X so it's actually not that bad for the price that I got and it's also grade school. When they do um, release in the stores, they're only like $80 and then depending on the specific one is about $90. So it's not really much of that big of a difference that I paid. Probably like a $70, $80 difference on the shoe but it's well worth it because they actually feel very good on feet when I just tried them on. And you know, they were like really nice and this is definitely it's not an everyday shoe. So it's like when you do pop it out, it's like you're popping it out let's go ahead and move on to the last and the final product of this unboxing this is the shipping box that it came on um came in y'all i'm excited for these shoes eh. so i know y'all probably were like girl i don't got nothing on the box but yeah and if you know you know then the yeezy foam runners don't have anything on the top um it does have the size label right here on the box and then when you open up the box, it says foam and then runner on the inside. And then on the inside, you have your foam runners. Um, I got these foam runners. I got these from my friend, bro, fucking Nate. <laughs> Special shout out to my baby for Nate. <laughs> but I got these from raw laces on instagram everything is authentic and real everything is verified and shipped through goat and stock x um so this how excited i was i already wore these shoes but i did keep everything in a box that came with the shoes you feel me these all right y'all these came on this is the tag and it came on the shoe of course it didn't come off the shoe because y'all can see that i cut it um off the shoe so y'all know it was on the shoe for real for real to one got a lot around chill these are my babies these are my phone runners and they are so comfortable y'all like when i tell y'all these are like if i could these would be my everyday shoes like i am definitely in love with these foam runners and then this is the inside let's put them on the right way this is the inside and then the bottom may be a little crusty, but that's because I told y'all I wore them already. But here's the bottom, and then as you can see, it says Adidas on the bottom. Y'all, these foam runners, um, she sold them to me for $150, but y'all already know prices go up because you want to know why. Because y'all ain't me. Not this plan, but the prices do actually, the prices may go up, I'm not sure, but when I did buy them, they were 150 Not sure how much they cost now, but you better get them while they low, baby, because once the prices go up, their prices go up and it's never coming down. Ew. These are a men's size 6, 
and I went with six and not a seven because um, in men's I'm typically a five and a half. And if you know, if you don't know, I bought my Yeezy slides in a size eight, which was like my biggest mistake ever. That was like extremely too big. I bought them in eight because I'm thinking that they're running in women's sizes. And the person who I bought them from, he's also a reseller. He never, he didn't explain to me um, how the sizes work. So yeah, that was my fault. So they're too big, and I barely run. The, I would barely wear those. And these are actually my go-to almost everyday shoes, especially with like a very raw pair of socks. Yeah, y'all yeah, very slept down if you don't have your pair of Yeezy foam runners. They are very lightweight. They're almost better than Crocs. So I would say that these are like Crocs in a more stylish way because they feel like Crocs, if not better. But I will tell y'all, the only downfall I have about Yeezy foam runners is that for a long period of time, if you wear them without socks, your feet are definitely going to hurt. They feel good to walk on, but after a while, when you're like standing up with no socks on, they definitely hurt. I'm going to show you guys how these shoes look on foot. Okay guys, so that concludes the end of this unboxing and try on haul video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more unboxing and try on hauls, make sure you go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below who you guys want to see me try on a couple of outfits from. Um, again, I will have everybody's information linked down below in the description. Comment down below which pair of shoes was you guys' favorite. I need a cap. For me, it's going to be the Yeezy Foam Runners just because it's like an everyday shoe. And they feel so, like, space boots. <laughs> they, that's how they feel to me. Like, they feel like space boots. But, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said before, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. And comment down below which was y'all's favorite outfit. And which outfit did y'all like the best on me? Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video, so go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Bye!